On top of the pyramid is Asia. You know you love Asia. Asia's crazy. She has not lost once. I gave it all I got. She killed this routine. Asia is like dynamite exploding on stage. Sleazy peasy, lemon squeezy. I have not one concern for Asia. Bring it on. <laughs> My name is Christy, and I'm Asia's mother. Asia's been dancing since two years old, and she is my sassy little diva. I get some criticism with the, um, the makeup, the eyelashes, but I think people are, you know, judge. Obviously, at six, you're not doing quite as many turns as you are at 13 or 14, but what she's doing at six is pretty amazing. I'm not scared about this conversation. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. So our duet is extreme activists, and Tua's playing the snobby rich girl with fur, and Asia's really upset because she's an activist against fur. Exactly, yes. Five, six, seven, eight. Well, I think that Asia is Tua's biggest competition. Asia is younger than Tua, and she has the cute factor going. It's a little frustrating to me that Asia's been getting by with all of her pageant faces that she does. Our final performance of the night was a number centered around extreme activism. Please welcome Asia and Tua. I think that this duet could either make or break Tua this week, because Asia is really big on personality and faces, and the judges really like that. We wanted to see character, that's what they gave us. But, Asia, when you do a duet and you work with a partner, there needs to be communication. So all those tough, nasty looks that you were giving to me, you should have been giving to her. Does that make sense to you? All right, I'm gonna send it over to Richie. I want to say that you really dove into the character. I mean, I really appreciated your performance. And you gave me the little tough girl with your no fur shirt. I like. Thank you. Whatever all of that that went on today was, I can almost guarantee you that Asia was told to be the star and steal the spotlight. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Good. This week is going to be challenging for Asia. It's very important that Asia nails this solo. And yeah, we're going to work on those feet that Abby keeps getting crazy about. So, fairy tales week, you are the Wicked Witch of the West. Have you ever seen The Wizard of Oz? Uh, yeah, just a couple times. Do you remember that famous scene where, where she gets a pitcher of water thrown on her and she's like, I'm melting, I'm melting. Well, that's gonna be your take on it, cool? I have brought to you, basically, your dress. Um, I'm kind of really worried about the dress because you're, you're kind of really tiny. So we're gonna have to create the beginning and the end around you working with the dress. From the beginning? So Asia is dancing in a trash bag. It's totally taking over her. It's as large as the stage. And the routine Ricky has planned for Asia is very challenging. Out, out. Whoosh. Asia doesn't seem concerned about it. But as a mother, I'm worried about the movement and the restriction and her being able to maneuver through this trash bag, which is actually sticking to her. I'm a little concerned about how we're going to work this. Six, seven, and go. Maylin and I decided to go see Asia's uh, rehearsal. We wanted to see, you know, what this week was going to be like for Asia. Asia, you need to lengthen your legs, because you have short little legs. You need to lengthen that leg. Corrine and I are just looking at each other going, thank God this is not for our girls. I could not just imagine the girls trying to go around such a huge problem. Your trash bag doesn't come unbuttoned. That's a lot. You better. just improv, rip it, okay? Just tear it off. You gotta pick up your feet and travel, okay? You need to travel. This right here, you have to turn, remember? Don't worry about it. Okay. My biggest fear about the trash bag dress is that She's going to trip as soon as she winds out of it, and that her first step is going to be to the floor. Let's hear it for Asia. Go, a Asia, go. I love you. Got it? stepping on it. No, I didn't. Stop, Rhea. Relax.
I thought Asia's performance in the beginning of her dance was amazing. She shows so much presence. But then you get the rest of it, and the technique is just not 100% there. Game on. And go. a dancer who thinks outside the box. Somebody creative, somebody innovative, somebody that I would want on my team. And sit down. Lexine. So I noticed Lexine's looking a little nervous. Maybe the nurse got a hold of her today. the wrong beat of the music, and I know I still have to push harder. I know she's going to come right back at me with some sassy moves. Hey! Asia's crazy. Asia is like a cat. She's had nine lives. You know, she should have been cut the second week. Bye-bye. That's not fair. Lexine did not get to improv the second time, which she gave everybody a chance. So I thought, okay, whatever, you know. And go! Go! Tango, right off the floor. This is the final face-off. Ready, girls? Play music. And you're on. Madison has improv a lot just at dance conventions, and she thinks quick on her feet. She knows what to do, so I'm feeling confident that Madison will be fine in improv. Top that! better than they like a 13-year-old's technique. There's no fair game in dance. It's an opinion. I think you rocked it out in the end. And a great sense of musicality. Madison, I'm sorry, you are not the challenge winner, but an outstanding job. Yes! I'm dealing with um, Asia crying. Why? Mm. Why? She heard Madison in the dressing room say, why is Hadley gone? It should be Asia. 
I don't think that my daughter would say something like that, but you never know. Well, Madison's looking at it as a dance perspective. Children learn from what they've heard. The actions of the girls now, I think, are the actions of the parents. A lot of the parents are expressing their concern, you know, as to why Asia's still in this competition. She's still in this competition because she's a damn good dancer. They all think that Asia no, should have went home. I did not don't. say. Shh, no, because don't you shoot me. You're talking. No. You're trying to throw us under the That's bus. Not what did I say daughter. about Asia? Do I think it she should have gone smarter smarter dancer, before having? Probably, because it takes a smarter I'll say dancer. It to her face. I have no problem with that. So what you're saying, technically, she's not good. They are using her as a scapegoat because I think they're running out of things to complain about. She is the. You know what? Her child can straighten her legs and point her feet. You know what? But have they can? No. She didn't, did she? So I just stay quiet, and I think the other moms are wrong. Asia's here for a reason. I don't feel threatened at all. We just want to prove all the haters wrong and laugh in their face when she's standing here the next day after elimination. I love Asia solo. This week is Captive Animals, and it's so fitting because she's my little wild animal. She's going to make it her own. Look, trust in yourself to pull your feet through. Go. Asia. Are you scared to do it? You're too scared to do it, yes. OK. I'm nervous about the cage and me hurting myself. Drop. I know I can do it, and I'm going to trust myself. Wait, that foot, that foot is not pointing. You can't, before you, when you take that foot off the floor, point it. Why do you t even take your feet off the floor? You shouldn't be a dancer then if you can't point your feet. Asia can learn to point her toes and remember to point her toes, but some people are just not born with the gift that Asia has with her expressions. This is it, OK? This routine is important. We can beat Madison. We can beat Amanda. They have nothing going on right here, but we're concentrating, and we're going to knock one of them out. Amanda. Amanda? Why? Because how strong I am and how my facial expression kills her. OK, so run your routine and don't stop. I'm not going to say a word. I'm not going to say a word. My mom is working me so hard. She really wants me to make it to the top three. But I make my own way, and I improved a lot. And just being here is like I'm the winner of this competition. Did I tell you what's wrong, or should I just say everything's perfect? I just, Mom, I, I just, I, I know I'm going to be doing good on stage. OK, so you practice something you don't need to. OK, then. Christy is nervous. Let's be real. She can't teach technique in two days. She just can't. I'm not walking you up there if you don't practice. OK, you're going to have to ask someone to walk you up. Yeah, someone is walking me up. Asia's frustrated with me, and, and she has been. And she's gotten into her little Asia attitude with me. But she's not prepared. This is the finals, and you have this time to run it, and you're not going to run it? Really? I'm not. You have to rock this to get into the final. You know every one of those girls want you gone. You need to remember your techniques, point your toes, and straighten that leg. Remember, you're staying here. I have to prove to the judges that I can do my technique. So whoever thinks I'm going home tonight, they're wrong. No one's going to touch me. And if they touch me, I'm bringing back with claws and big ones. Next up is a jazz routine about captive animals. Here's Asia. Asia gets a standing ovation, and she is an amazing performer. But there's a difference between a performer and a dancer. What's the one thing that scared me? When she flipped over the monkey bars, and when she came down the lane, I was worried about her. That was a pretty big drop. Yeah. Both feet sickled in. 
How do you do these amazing performances? Show us the character. But she wouldn't turn her feet out. Asia, fix it. It needs to be more important to you. First of all, I want to say that at this point in the competition, this performance right here is all I've been asking for from all the rest of the girls. Thank you so much. Yes! Now give me the popcorn for real. Yeah, right? <laughs> you were like... <laughs> and I was like, yes! yes! And all I'm saying is the performance <laughs> element is there. You are Beyonce in seven years. Asia, I just have to say, flawless. I loved it. I saw your feet very nicely pointed. I think I just found my little pussycat. Thank you so much. Excuse me. I didn't see pointed or flexed. I saw in between. I saw. But I I'm an animal. Flawless. No. Asia, do you have what it takes to make it to the top three? Mm. I don't know. I thought it was perfect. Judge, just thank you so much. All of those puns, they're all. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. Asia, great job. I great think job. this was Asia's best performance. She did everything that we work on, and I think this was strong enough to get her into the final. You know, so I think that you have so much talent packed inside that little tiny body, and it's just bursting at the seams. And the reason I'm tough on you is because I believe in you, and I think that you have longevity in your career, and I don't want to see you be one of these cute little kids that wins everything, and then they turn into a teenager, and they never dance again. You're still on the top of my list. I mean... You know what? You feel it. Yes. And that's what it's about with you. Do you think you gave us the performance to win? I gave it all I got. All right. Let's hear it for Asia. A lot of Asia fans out there. Judges, thank you very much. I don't think she's the best dancer. They best all have dancer. issues. I look for stars. She's a star. Oh, this is a dance competition. You competition. know you love Asia. Why I think she's great enough? musicality, and she has great timing. She's got to work on her technique. I don't care. I love her. I think she's amazing. There's a reason why I love her, and America loves her. Have you come to a consensus? Yeah, it's, yes. it's, it's really tearing our hearts apart. Let's go ahead and bring the moms and their daughters back up to the stage. Congratulations, girls. Congratulations, moms. This has been an incredible journey, and one of the toughest decisions that we've ever made. I wish that I could take that check, tear it into three parts, and we could all go home happy. But unfortunately, that is not possible at this time. The winner of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition is, is Brianna. Moms gave me such a hard time when I came to ALDC. They had better give Christy just the same amount of trouble they gave me. Can I sit right here? Yeah, sure. We need to hide your skinniness amongst us. Ugh. We nicknamed you Skinny Christy. Oh, great. Oh, you're fat, Christy. <laughs> there is only room for one Christy at the Abby Lee Dance Company, and that role has been filled. So when did you get into town? This morning. Oh gosh, you just got in. And but we just came from Korea, but we had to You're stop. From Korea? Yeah, Asia's been working in Korea. She was on a TV show. She got yeah. booked out so much that there's no way that she can compete. And uh, wait, we were wait, traveling. Wait, wait. She got booked out for jobs. They don't have any teachers of Abby's caliber in your area. You know what? I think her and Abby bonded, and Asia loves Abby, and she works better with teachers that are on her, and. She asked if she could see Abby again, and so we're here. You guys moved to Pittsburgh, which is great. We're happy to have you, but that means no hightailing it out for other no jobs. No dancing anywhere in the United no States. No ballet school somewhere. <laughs> None of that. Yucky weather. You are committed to this studio for a year, and if you leave, you owe her $100,000 cash. Well, thank God I have $100,000. These moms are trying to scare me off right now, and what they don't know is that I'm not intimidated and I'm here to stay so they can just move on.
Asia, let's go. Asia is doing a solo to the music Rock That. And honey, she can rock it out. But can she straighten her legs and point her feet? We'll have to see. Arms up! Your feet are so sickled. Your knees are knocking. Crawl, crawl, dig! Asia is like dynamite exploding on stage. And I want her to scale it back a bit. So, Asia, I want to see cute, I want to see fluffy, and I want to see a puppy dog. Is this her style, this sassy? Yeah, she's a more of a fierce dancer. She's never been a cutesy dancer. You have one more day to work on this, and that's it. You have to learn your solos in a day. That's what we do at the Abbey Lee Dance Company. She's a cute little girl. She really is cute. You want to see me rock that? The first day at a new dance studio can be difficult for anyone. I want to find out from Christy how the other moms are treating her. If they so much as look at Christy wrong, watch out. What was your overall impression of these mothers? Do tell. Um, being around them now for the short time, there's just so many complaints. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, they're miserable. You know, I'm open to any questions, and I didn't have a problem with them, but I did feel that they had the most questions. Christy with the C, she thinks that she's being replaced. She knows that I want her out big time. Oh, OK. If you have any issues with any of the moms, you come to me. Head back. Turn the police sort out. I think Melissa is the mom that's clearly the most upset about Asia being here because she's a direct threat to Mackenzie. But Melissa will never admit that. Are we ready? Asia, come here. Hey, you got to realize why we're here, right? Yeah. We came to train with Abby. You know Mackenzie's hurt. She has a bad foot. We got to take advantage. But you need to stay focused, and we need to take this opportunity to stay here, OK? All right. High five. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Asia performing Rock Band. My daughter pulled it off, and she was a fierce puppy, and she made it her own on that stage. We're here to stay. So what did you think? I think that um, she enjoyed the routine. I did see one sickle foot, so I'm sure, I, well, I hope Abby calls her out on it. Well, here's the thing. You can guarantee she saw it. I don't think Christy has any idea what Abby is really like, and I have a feeling she's about to find out. You're still really in the honeymoon period. Give it some time. You haven't seen tough love from Abby yet. Like, this is all very sweet and kind. But you can complain all you want, but Abby's not going to change. Obviously, no, Abby's not going to no, change. No, we're not expecting And so her when, to when I hear all the complaining, I'm like, OK. But we haven't complained once in front of you about Abby. You got to understand, if you're going to be around someone like that, you got to expect it. And if you can't expect it, you need to leave. Well, you know what? Now that we know that you don't want us to be honest and express our feelings, we'll make sure we don't do that in front of you. Christy is the most outspoken mother here. I'm going to be civilized this first week out, but if she comes at me, I'm going to bite. Good job! Yay, Good job, Asia! Good job, Good job Asia! Asia. Asia. Drop and give me 20. You do the steps. Cute's over. It's about the technique. It's about the feet. I cringed when you rolled up to that chin stand with those feet completely sickled. How's that tough love feel now? And our first place energy petite solo, drum roll please. Entry number 39, Ross Jack. Asia pulls out the first place win. They put this teeny tiny little tear on the puppy dog's head and it looked like best in show. Hi, my name is Asia. Asia comes in and wins with her very first solo with the ALDC, and we know Melissa's not happy. And Mackenzie better start winning first place trophies left and right, or it's goodbye, Mackenzie, and hello, Asia. And next, on top of the pyramid, is Asia. Asia, you were our big winner. 
This is a reflection of your score, not your legs or your feet. Those things all need a whole lot of attention. Understood? This week, Asia brought it, and now we're on top of the pyramid. Mackenzie, what's wrong? Feel dizzy? All right, why don't you take a seat, OK? You want to keep that foot up. So why did Mackenzie start crying, though, all of a sudden, in the middle of pyramid? Did you notice the timing? Oh. Mackenzie started crying as soon as Asia was announced that she was at the top of the pyramid. I think she's intimidated. It didn't even register on my radar. Melissa's daughters can't be outdanced. So rather than have Asia and Mackenzie go head to head, Melissa pulls Kenzie from the dance. Smart Melissa. Rosie the Riveter. Say that. Rosie the Riveter. Do you know who that is? Yeah, she's going to be Rosie the Riveter. Rosa what? Oh. Rosie the Riveter. You know the girl from Four Ad? So you need to be strong. Give me the arm. Woo! Look at that. Asia is doing a hot, sassy jazz routine. It's called Ready for War, and it's based on the character Rosie the Riveter. Pony Five, six, Check. seven, eight. I just keep it head and head and Where head and head. Yes. Check. I think Asia, she could have been Rosie the Riveter. She has Pony such tail. electricity when she dances. I think Mackenzie yeah. should sit and watch Asia. Hey, she's sitting on her butt getting worse, and Where Asia's on stage getting better. Very good. Melissa has made it very clear to all the moms she's not the least bit threatened by Asia or Christy. I'm going to go ask Abby about the costume. But if I was Melissa, I would feel a little threatened. So what's happening with the foot? What do you think? Um, she really wants to dance. I mean, Asia comes in from out of town. Boom. She comes in right when Mackenzie's injured. Asia and Mackenzie both have great qualities, and they also both have a lot of flaws. But if Mackenzie keeps sitting and Asia keeps dancing, Asia's going to get better. You know, she doesn't want to let Asia waltz into here from 3,000 miles away and pass her up and take her spot. Here is Asia with Ready for War. But it's hard to watch because I feel bad for Mackenzie. It's breaking her heart. Good job. <laughs> and first place. Entry number 15, ready for war. And name is here. Abby Lee Dance Company. Give her a round of applause. Asia walks right on stage, and I find out her costume's on wrong. So right now, I'm not sure how Abby's going to respond to this, or even if she knew, but this could be the end of me and Asia, or she can say, Asia did amazing. I didn't even know her pants were on wrong. Asia, you did an entire routine with your pants on backwards. But don't laugh. It's not funny. Someone is dressing you, and I understand that. I always check her. And in the circumstances, I didn't even know. You're not sitting in the audience. You're backstage. You're in that um, quick I'm change I'm looking at a list that says, it says her name on the 18th. I popped her into Brooke's spot. But no one told me. Well, wait, she only has two numbers. 
Okay, these kids did like 15. And they all had their pants on straight, just saying. Now, I want the name of who put that costume on you backwards. I did. It was my responsibility. There's no such mistake and it will never happen again. Thank you, Asia. Chloe, she wants to hear. Thank you for ending that. Chloe dropped her hat on stage, suspended for a month. Asia has her costume on backwards, and it's ha ha, no big deal. Asia, we're going to start with her, and you all are going to do 100 push ups. She doesn't have to do the 100 push ups because she did ice skate. You were selfish, you were naive, and you put this entire group in jeopardy. <laughs> Asia, Asia, why aren't you going? Why? Okay, it's not about you. Why? Because she can't be hurt. Well, nobody can be hurt. Well, I know. She's not going to do it. She knows why. I'm making the girls do push-ups because every single one of those girls could have said no. Asia chose not to. Now, was it her mother's choice or her choice? Who cares? All I know is that that kid did not put skates on. She did not risk an injury, and she did not try to sabotage my team. Look, all the girls are doing push-ups, and Asia's running her solo. What's that about? Did the kids have a really good time? Yes, and that's they all did. that matters. That's Sometimes right. they have to just be kids, like, mm -hmm. enjoy their childhood. For God's sakes. Abby's sitting here making these kids do push-ups because they went ice skating. Abby, what did you do while the kids were ice skating? Did you maybe go for dinner? Maybe you should be doing the sit-ups and the push-ups. I still stand. Asia knows, and, and she's not going to ice skate two days before competition, because you can't be 100% sure an accident won't happen on the ice. All right, moving on to that number 13. This is a mini open solo. Please welcome Asia performing. <laughs> Asia was portraying a robot, there was nothing mechanical going on. Her face was all human. She brought that robot to life. And your highest scoring in the mini solos with a score of 281.4 points is Miss Asia with act number 12, the robot. Asia gets the first place overall and the Judges' Choice Award. So moms, I know you don't want us here. You say that Asia's this and Asia's that, but right now we're leaving New York and we're winners. We're gonna run through your dance a couple times. Okay. This is the last day. Mm -hmm. There's no time for forgetting. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. There you go. Straighten your front knee. Asia is performing a jazz routine to lightning this week. I put all of her tricks in it. I want her to be as prepared as she can be when nationals comes. Careful. That was almost nationals ready. Oh. I'm excited and I make it known. Asia has a solo and she should. She has not lost once in the solo category. Coming up next, gonna be entry 6A. Entry 6 Alpha, put your hands together for Asia performing lightning. Under solo will be lightning. Yay! 
So Asia gets first, and I knew she would. This solo was so her. She killed this routine. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. You don't walk in at the phone, huh? Asia, why were you on stage singing the lyrics? I thought Asia's dancing was outstanding, but the lip syncing? Come on. You ruined your entire number because everyone was looking at what you were saying. I even motioned to you from my seat. Asia, every goal and obstacle we conquer, you throw yourself back two steps. She told me that I lip sync almost half the song. Miss Abby can yell at me. She's not going to make me cry. Mackenzie, did you watch Asia from the wings? Yes. What'd you learn? Not <laughs> it is now time for our divisional overalls. In second place, from Abby Lee Dance Company, entry number 17, Old West. Mackenzie got second place in her solo. I know she's disappointed, and she really wanted first place. And in first place, entry number 18 from Abby Lee Dance Company, Too Hot to Handle. Asia showed that today she was the better dancer. Turn the feet out. Have fun with it. Make the judges smile. Balls of the feet, pretty legs. Foot, 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 foot. Think about the foot, the foot, the foot. Even if Mackenzie was here, I think Asia would still be doing the solo. I am featuring her as the pink flamingo from the Flamingo Hotel. She has her nose up in the air and that tail up high. She is going to strut out on that stage like she owns the strip. Tighten the knee, tighten the knee, tighten the knee, stronger. Asia is hitting everything. I think this one is going to be the top routine and a winning routine. Good job. All right, we're good to go. Next on stage is act number seven. This is a mini open solo. Please welcome Asia performing the Flamingo. anything, but I need to improve on my feet, but that's easy to fix. And in first place in the elite mini solo category, entry number seven, the Flamingo. Asia won first place again in her solo, and I think it's really going to be hard for Mackenzie to get a solo at nationals. She has to prove that she's in it to win it. Hello. I can't deal with the, the lies anymore. So I decided I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm Right before nationals? I am very upset. Asia is a shoe in to win that mini division at nationals. Asia's probably gonna be heartbroken because she wants to be in the group. But from the incident last night to this morning, I just. What incident I, last night? There was a confrontation between a Leslie and Christy. I just, I'm just not gonna sit here and play the game with them. I'd rather just go and do what we need to do and take her. Well, I'm heartbroken and you're killing me that you're taking her away because we had a good run and she's leaving undefeated. Why well, I feel bad. Are you, are you gonna tell her or am I gonna tell her? We can both go in there. I mean. Girls, I have an announcement to make. It is with great sadness. Asia has to cut her trip short and not participate in our national finals. Saying goodbye to a superstar. 